Coralie, could you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Uh, so today I am assisting making the ALP metaphorical cake and I'm mixing together the butter and the sugar and this represents the bringing together of our skills as a team. Resilience. We also need a little bit of confidence. We also need trust. It's essential to be part of a, an effective team. You also need commitment. It's really important to have good communication if you want to be a good leader. <laughs> into our lovely cake mixture and this represents the sieving process and of sharing ideas and filtering out what can't be achieved. With a sprinkle of innovation and a sprinkle of flexibility we, we have brought together the essential leadership ingredients to find and consolidate our roles and skills as leaders. <laughs> so this half of the cake represents the CRN network and this represents the trust, NHS trust that we all work for. So all we're going to do is just put a few blobs in the cake to represent the ALPers of this year. So in our team, well in our little group, we have myself, Priscina, me, Debbie, <laughs> we've got Susie, hi, <laughs> and Coralie behind the camera. <laughs> we've got Gemma, yep, and a bit of Deirdre there. And we're also going to add Fiona, because she's been a huge support during this process. <laughs> Fabulous. Looks beautiful. So this adds a lot of diversity because we all come from different backgrounds, with lots of different experiences. And using all of our different skill sets to complete our challenges. Well, I've learned that I can do it, definitely gained in confidence, um, feel much more able to put myself forward for things now, um, and I've gained a lot of knowledge about resilience, um, particularly resilience as a leader. I feel that I have a bit more confidence in my own ability to handle change, to handle conflict, but equally also to understand what is within my control and what is without my control, with that, with that not in my control. I feel that perhaps the way that I approach things is quite different. I do seem to take a bit more time now to think and reflect in my approach to how I, how I tackle things. And hopefully I just I feel a bit more confident in my own skin really. So I've really enjoyed this part of the journey so far. I've learned a lot about myself as a leader. I have learned that I am enough and um, that I do have the skills that I need. Um, that I don't always need permission to use them. Uh, I've learned a lot about my weaknesses as well, um, acknowledging my tendency towards impatience uh, and for wanting to do everything, all the things now. Um, I think that I can uh, turn that into a strength. I think it is a strength as a leader to know what your weaknesses are um, and how to work around them. Hi, initially I thought leadership was going to be a really kind of boring and bland subject but the ALP programme has taught me that it's fun and exciting um, and there's loads of different ways of doing it which um, I thought was really interesting and eye-opening for me. It certainly opened my eyes in lots of different directions, um, ma mainly making sure that um, you understand yourself, that you have a good work-life balance that um, leading is around is is more than just um, having ideas. That those ideas 
need to be shared and also facilitating other people to um, take opportunities forward themselves, working as a team um, and listening, saying less and listening more. Well, I've learned that you're nothing without the wider network, really. You need those good communications and working relationships. Um, and I've learned loads about the different um, departments within the CRN. Um, and I feel like I've made a lot more contacts that I'll be able to call on in the future. I've realised that um, we are all, all trying to solve the same problem, raise profile, um, support each other and I've made some um, some great friends hopefully I'll see them all in the future. From the network point of view I've um, been able to gain confidence in talking to lots of different people it's been fantastic to realise that actually we all do think um, very similarly and uh, encounter similar problems and often when you talk about it together it gives you renewed energy and resilience to try to unblock any uh, issues around um, disseminating research and supporting research in the clinical setting. I feel that I am now confident enough to be able to engage with East Midlands CRN on a more sort of frequent basis. I'm happy to pick up the phone and ask for some support and guidance. Whereas before I was always a bit hesitant, I sort of always felt that I was in my own little world in my own little trust but now I feel like I'm part of a bigger network and I'm really thankful for that and this has also helped in terms of learning from others others experiences as well and understanding how they already integrated with their network and I feel that I've taken this knowledge and have enabled myself to feel more part of our own local network. I also learned that leading doesn't mean control that um, it means influence and implementing change where you can improve um, others but also yourself um, and it's a learning process. Working in a network environment, um, the concept that I keep coming back to is lateral leadership, leading without a position of authority and this spoke loudest to me. Um, it was new to me but it, it makes so much sense in a network where there are um, differing roles, hierarchies, managers, authority figures um, in the various parts of the network and by identifying um, with each part of the network as equal and leading in a fashion that is everyone together, um, that was a light bulb for me. The ALP course this year has given me a whole renewed confidence which has been recognised in my department. I've been given some opportunities this year which have been amazing. Um, I've visited other facilities, I'm now invited to strategic planning meetings, I know so many brilliant people across the network and each and every one has given me confidence to um, be a better leader. Well, I'm now attending the Trust Clinical Induction every month um, as the face of research to talk about what we do. And in terms of my leadership challenge, I suppose one of the things that um, it sort of helped me demonstrate as a leader is understanding that if I do want to change things, I need to be patient and I need to understand that it's going to take time. I can't just click my fingers and that's the change happened. I need to get people on board. I need to appreciate other people's opinions and perspectives on things. I feel that with the ALP programme, I really enjoyed doing the um, Myers-Briggs element of it because it really helped me understand the team dynamics and, more importantly, my own team dynamics. And I feel that this has actually helped me just become a bit more able to deal with challenges that I do face now and then. Um, I've also now engaging with the East Midlands CRN and taking the lead on the local press questionnaire locally and I have to say this is part of something that I really enjoy and it's just embedded everything that I've learned on the ALP to realise that I am part of a bigger picture and ultimately that bigger picture is to provide treatment opportunities for people of the future. So thank you very much. From the course, 
um, I've been able to be a part of the East Midlands Clinical Research um, Practitioners Directory and have influence in, um, in that area, but also make relationships with people from the Coordinating Centre um, and our local CRN. Um, one of these people being the Industry Research Officer, who has, um, who has quite a lot of influence, um, especially when um, with, with recruitment and delivery and I feel more confident that I can make these relationships um, with people of influence from doing this course. Thanks. The Network Leadership Challenge has presented um, so much opportunity for me um, just by going out and identifying and engaging with all the different stakeholders, all the different parts of my network. That means that the network spontaneously grows and changes and, and each new turn offers up um, a, new, a new idea, a new contact and a, and a new challenge. Um, and a further challenge has already been born out of the original challenge that I set for myself. Um, but thanks to the ALP, I feel really well equipped to, to, to meet it. So opportunities going forward. Um, I've had opportunities to talk about um, my role as a research nurse and uh, looking at that as a career pathway um, within the trust. So that's that's been really interesting. I've also uh, had the opportunity to put research on the agenda within the uh, trust induction and it's definitely uh, given me confidence to raise the profile and network with people in the trust and also external um, partners and stakeholders. So thank you very much, it's been fabulous. Thank you.